Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I uh, hope you're having a good day. I know my day's going pretty well. Uh, yeah, so today we're looking at a clip of a Twitch streamer. And this Twitch streamer, basically, uh, she was streaming and doing, you know, whatever she does on Twitch or whatever live... I'm pretty sure it's Twitch. I mean, what other live streaming platforms really exist? So this Twitch streamer was basically streaming, and more or less her kid was, like, trying to get her attention... And, uh, you know, she doesn't really respond in the greatest way possible. It's, it's not like a super uplifting clip. I, it's just one viral, and I thought we'd watch it together. It went super viral on Twitter, and then also Cyrus covered it, so I thought that you and I would take a look at it here. And, uh, yeah. Let me just have a quick rant before we go into it. I, I think being a parent is probably one of the biggest responsibilities and probably one of the greatest responsibilities you'll ever have in your life. This is just personally for me. You can think that, I don't know, playing Minecraft is the greatest responsibility you'll ever have in your life. I don't really, it, it's not, it's not subjective, right? Uh, it's, or it's not objective, but subjectively, I think, you know, raising, you know, a child is probably, or children or whatever, is, it's probably one of the most important things you'll ever do. And, uh, I, I saw a quote when Cyrus covered this video, I was looking through his comment section, and I saw a quote that summed it up pretty well. So the top comment, one of the top comments on the video that Cyrus made basically said, every child deserves a parent, but not every parent deserves a child. And I think that that, that quote goes pretty far. Anyways, let's take, let's just, let's just start watching this clip. I want to, I'm going to forcibly... So as you can see, basically, uh, she's record or she's doing her Twitch stream, which is live. O okay, I just said, I I'm acting as if a bunch of, like, you know, my main audience is 70-year-old men who've never watched YouTube or Twitch before. Yes, Twitch is live. Congratulations, Connor. Excellent point right there. No, but she's live streaming right now, and as you can see, she's in the middle of doing whatever she was doing. And her kid in the background was like, hey, you know, I I'm scared. Can I turn on the light? Um, you know, and... You know that happens, bro. I remember when I was like four years old, dude. I was afraid of the dark. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. I was afraid of the dark till I was like fifteen. Okay, maybe not fifty, but like thirteen, dude. Like I was a late bloomer when it came to that stuff. Like I wasn't actively like I you know I saw like you know the lights turned off and I started like screaming or anything. But I was like, I still I had my parents <laughs> close my closet like until I was like fourteen or something. And I I wasn't even like I wasn't even like there's a monster in there. I'm just like. You know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe today. I'm keeping my closet closed. Um, so, yeah, you know, you know, the dark is scary, and especially when you're four years old, bro. I remember, like, the most nothing would, the most nothingness would, like, scare me. But I also remember if, like, my parents just came over and said, hey, you know what? Don't worry about that. Like, yeah, you're good. Like, it don't, you no need to be scared about that. I would just, like, instantly not become scared of it. Like, not in every situation, of course, but, like, I remember once I was, like, Oh my God, Bob! What if a werewolf comes? And she's like, Connor, there's no such things as werewolves. And I was like, Oh! And I went to sleep just like that, out like a light. Go to sleep. Sure. <sighs> Discord e dates are you can drop the e date command and it'll explain it, but they are sub only. Look, I know this is kind of like a serious video or whatever, and I'm not even trying to give that much opinion. I'm just trying to like watch an, a viral video with you guys and just say a thing or two. But the topic of Discord e-dating came up, and I just gotta say a thing or two. I know I'm gonna make a lot of you guys mad. Bro, I've never understood e-dating, especially on Discord. Like, I, 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 and the thing is, I, I'm sure that like plenty of, there's, there's at least some people the, that are e-dating some of the, in my, who watch my videos. And that's totally fine, bro. I've just never personally understood it, bro. Like there's a certain point where like a discord group chat is like not the same thing as interacting with like someone you're attracted. I don't know. Okay. I know I'm completely throwing off the tone of the video with this kind of like weird tangent, but bro, I've never understood it. I've just simply never understood. Maybe I'm maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but I've just never... Okay, you know what? I, I've destroyed the video enough. Let's just get back into it. Let's just get back on track. Let's try and salvage what we have left. Um... Just a heads up, I did not make these edits or anything. This is just edits from the viral clip. Uh, but anyways, so, you know, here's the thing. I can't, like, go super hard of, like, this is how you should be a parent because I'm not one now. And obviously, it's a big learning curve. But just, like, I just personally feel like if if someone comes up to you or, like, at least if my parents were to come up to me and be like, 
why are you crying? Like, stop crying. If I was like really upset or terrified about something, that wouldn't be the way to go about it, bro. Like personally, I would just have like, just, or just like turn on the lights here. It seems like, can I turn on the lights? Yes. I'll, I'll, look, the child's distressed, bro. They're having, they're having a tough time. It's probably over nonsense, but guess what? They're a child. When I was a child, you know how much nonsense I got distressed over? Answer, plenty. <laughs> There's plenty of nonsense. Like, yes, it makes no sense. Yes, it's, I, I was irrational, but it, I, I, was, I was four, bro. Of course I was irrational. What are you talking about? And at some point, you just got to be like, hey, you know, like, you, you just got to like, yeah, if this person was like 17 and they were like freaking out over nothing and they were like your friend or something, I can understand you just being like grump, uh, just being like upset with them being like, bro, like shut up. Like, I get that. I understand that more. But, you know, when this, per when this person is like four or three or I don't even know how old this child is, right? They don't under, like their perception of the world, bro. Like, I just remember, remember my perception was like, it was so different. And you just got to remember that when you're going about this, it's like, yeah, this seems goofy and unnecessary, but it's not. The thing is, it's totally fine to be frustrated when you're, you know, a parent. Like, this is probably one of the most frustrating things you'll ever have to do, right? It's probably one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do. Is it probably going to be one of the most rewarding? I would say so. I would argue that. I think that there's enough data out there to say that that's, I, I, that you could definitely argue that case. Uh, so yeah, it's, but it's also frustrating. That's totally fair. But bro, you're live stream, like you're live streaming in front of, in front of a bunch of people. You're putting this on the internet archive. Like, I, I don't know if this is the best thing to be putting out there. And also, I, I think the kid's like, you know, you know, I want you to stay. And here's the thing. Look, parents will be in the middle of like a work call or they'll be doing something for work. Because look, at the end of the day, Twitch is, Twitch is work. You get money. It, it's a new form of work, so it's harder to kind of accept as a job. But it very much is a job. So look, parents can sometimes be in the middle of something important to their income and their kid will, you know, come in and kind of distract them and such. But like... You know, she didn't have to necessarily stay with the kid for the rest of the night because, you know, she still has to make some money. But I think just, like, being, like, figure it out yourself and, like, coming back on stream looking all, like, ugh, woe is me. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just a bad look. Like, the reason why this went viral is because it was a bad look. this again tonight. Get out. Hey, you're going to get in So look, I don't know the full context of the situation, so take this with a grain of salt, but specifically for me, I know that I never like reacted that well to like, or like I, I would say if I was doing something wrong, you know, a punishment makes sense because you need to, you know, you, you need to teach your child like what they should do and what they shouldn't do. And when they're that young, maybe they won't understand like, hey, can you not do this just because it's not good? Maybe they don't understand that maybe they can't understand why something isn't good and you need to enforce it or let them learn in a different way like that happens. But this kid was obviously, I mean, I don't want to say obviously in the perception I got from this video, I feel like this kid was just, you know, uh, upset was scared was like you know was just like not having a good time and just needed like you know his or her you know or their mom right to come in and to to comfort them like i, I feel like that's not too much to I, okay okay i'm making a lot of assumptions here but basically what i'm trying to say is i don't think threatening to take away all the toys of a child even if it's frustrating and they're getting in the middle of work like maybe just spending like because here's the thing People go off stream all the time to go to the bathroom, to do whatever. Like, yeah, you'll lose some viewers, but it's not going to be like you leave stream for five seconds. Everyone has left and now they're watching XQC. Like, you know, there's people are still going to be watching you, right? That happens all the time. If anything, it's like it's more generous than most social media platforms. Like you can you can leave stream for a while and you'll still have like 80 percent of your audience still chilling there or something. And I, I feel like in this situation, you just need to go and like maybe tuck your child into bed, be like, turn on some lights, close the closet, not be like, I'm going to take away your toys. Dude, I don't know. So there's a bit more to this video, but it happens off screen. It's a bit more serious and it's a lot more difficult to like actually figure out what happened. So I'm just going to cut the, I, I don't think I'm going to show the rest of the video. I think I'm gonna, just going to stick to this part of the video because I don't want to take anything in too dark of a direction, especially if I can't even really tell with the video clip itself. But basically, like, I don't know. I, 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 everyone has their different preferences when it comes to, like, if they want to have kids when they're older. I definitely do. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a lot, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think that, you know, I, I think that responsibility in life can, like, 
make it more meaningful and especially when it's like you're it's basically like the closest thing to making another one of you as possible and i don't know i think that's i think that's cool i think you know a, you know for me a pretty important thing i want to do is you know uh have more you know add more good people to you know, you know society in a sense and that's more or less what having a kid is to me and i don't know it's a big deal to me uh, i think it's gonna be really cool i'm even saving up money now um to make that possible because uh, i do make money on youtube but i don't like buy dumb stuff it, it all goes into like long-term investments for that stuff it gets me excited it, it gets it, it gets me going bro it keeps me going through the day it's all i can say anyways sorry for the long outro thank you guys so much for watching if you want to help the channel out click on one of the four videos on screen right now or just literally watch another one of my videos it just helps the channel keep going. Uh, turn on notifications if you haven't because you won't see my videos otherwise. And yeah, peace.